Hi gang, I'm glad you're all here. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like and to subscribe. At 2.35 p.m. local time, there um, in Julian, California, was a magnitude 3.5 earthquake that was felt all the way to San Diego. It was roughly 15 miles south of Borrego Springs. Uh, 236 people reportedly felt it, sent in reports to USGS. There in Julian, they said it was a good jolt and lasted a few more seconds of rumbling. There in Palm Springs, they said they felt a small shaking also. Uh, Vista said they thought it was Camp Pendleton. The windows rattled a bit. Yeah, people are on edge, worried about war. Marietta Hot Springs said sounded and felt like an explosion nearby. They then searched social media and found nothing. So I checked this app and sure enough, it was an earthquake. Using Google Earth, here's the location of the two earthquakes. There was an aftershock of maybe a 2.6. Here's the location of the 3.5. We got Little Blair Valley. And let's bring it out. We got the Salton Sea, the uh, Superstition uh, Fault Zone, and the San Jacinto Fault Zone. Yeah, it goes right up through there. You can probably see here in 2016 there was a magnitude 5.2. USGS gave it an intensity level of 5. Evidently some people had things break in their homes. Maybe some pictures fell off the walls, uh, windows were possibly cracked, plaster crack, and dishes. This fault zone is capable of having a magnitude 6 or greater. In 1890 and 1893, uh, there was a magnitude 6, maybe a little bit larger earthquake along the same fault zone. Going to the stream view, uh, we got some tectonic plate movement going on. This is what it's currently showing. And this was at 23, just before 20. And this is a very, uh, it's probably a tremor. A slow moving um, earthquake. It's not like a sudden jolt. But it's what they call um, a quiet earthquake or a tremor. And you can see it's still going on here. Here's the signature of the two earthquakes that came back to back which would be the 3.5, which is first, and then the uh, 2.6. I want to point out the sharp tips to what's currently going on with the tremors. And this is what I extracted, so you can see, yeah, we got tectonic plate movement going on. Here we have the focal mechanism or focal uh, mechanism ball. You can see how the uh, fault line moved going east. We got slight dipping uh, towards the south. So with what's showing currently, I would say it loosened up the fault zone a little bit. Yeah, and this is what we got that happened because of that. And you probably have another earthquake coming because of this movement. Any earthquake does have a 20% chance of being a foreshock for something much larger. 20% is a very small chance, but it's still 20% chance. So the question is, did you feel this earthquake? Did you have damage? Like I said, it was an intensity level of 5. Here is the uh, reports for different people who said they did feel it. Uh, we got an intensity level 3 there. 3 for Julian. Yeah, it was felt all the way down here to Mexicali. Now, USGS gave an intensity level of 5, but I am only finding 2s and 3s. See, uh, Ramona, 3, another, that was 2, Julian, uh, 3, uh, Vista. Let me pull this up was felt as far north as Lake Elsinore, intensity level 2. Here you can see intensity level 5, but over here on the shake map, they gave it 
an intensity level of 4. Here you can see 5. Here you can see 4. And then over here, um, east of Julian, California, for intensity level of 4. And this here is the rupture distance. So evidently the fault ruptured. Let me bring it up and then bring it down. Yeah. It looks like the fault ruptured almost 100 kilometers, which is about 60 miles. You can see it down there at the bottom. It shows rupture distance. And then it's got the different monitors, which would make it all the way down to Mexicali where the fault zone ruptured. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, yeah. And it was shallow. The 3.5 was 7 miles deep, and all earthquakes are measured from sea level. And the 2.6 was, yeah, they probably see that on the surface um, in areas um, 0 0.2 miles below sea level. Yeah, no wonder the uh, tremor was going on, because even after the initial earthquake, then all of a sudden it just started creeping along. And you know down here, uh, down south, there's been some large earthquakes. Um, 1940, a 6.9. 1979, a 6.5. Um, another one, uh, 1979, I think it's two separate events, a 6.6. Yeah, I find that very interesting. So, did you feel this earthquake? Um, what are your pets currently doing? Um, always keep an eye on animals because they often react and give us warning ahead of time that, um, yeah, the earth's going to shake. Yeah, and it's unusual too that USGS does such a in-depth analysis of these earthquakes. Yeah, this is the San Jacinto fault zone. Yeah, interesting. Um, anyways, put your thoughts and comments down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.